players that did at the time they gained their advantage. Those are the players that did. Hey, MP, can you spare some time? Maybe you don't need to stand up. We got a comic right here, right now. Not everyone gets in, so we don't have enough data to make that any more important. What's up, MP? games into the year. How much do we know about this year's rookie class, Grant? Well, it's still early. We have to remember, we might be a half year into a decade-plus career for some of these guys. So I think it's best to reserve judgment for now. An NBA career is a marathon. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. All runs point with Levine flanking him. DeMar DeRozan is out there with MP. And it's Vucevic in at the five. One of the best parts of All-Star Weekend, the Rising Stars game. MP will be in it this year. Yes, he will. And that game is so much fun to watch. The future of the NBA on full display. And MP is a huge part of it. Here's Garland. The Bulls making their last shot. And another shot. And Allen lays it in. He is an elite, elite offensive rebounder. Allen is especially good at getting ideal positioning on that glass. Ball right side. Back to MP. Oh, it's stolen by LeBert. Ball against Garland. Pass to Allen. Over MP. And it's cleared by Vucevic. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. And after a few seasons of anemic offense, the Cavs have finally started to turn things around. Yes, they have. And they made a big step forward. Now, there's a nice balance to their offense. You can see the work Levine has put in on his three-point shot. He is now a legit threat from deep. And here's Garland. He played a great game against New Orleans. And here's Levert for three. Oh, Clank's that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. The Bulls have gone 2 of 3 from the floor. Ball passes to MP. Levine against Mitchell. And MP with a basket on the assist by Levine. And he's talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. Garland, the pass to Allen, played it in with a nice touch off the window. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Pass to Levine. Back to MP. Ooh, stolen by Allen. That's good from Garland. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. You know, the question is, do you leave him in? A third foul. And so in the game for the Bulls, DeMar DeRozan is out there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Zach Levine. Then it's MP. And it's Tasumu in at the point. Now here's MP. Against Brooklyn, he was really on his game. And Allen has the defense and finishing that you want from the center spot, Grant. Yeah, B.A., Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Nets put on a show. He ended up with 21 points, and it felt like he couldn't miss, whether from the field, from the line. He was awesome. Total domination from him. Faced very little resistance. We'll see if it's the same story here tonight. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. Let's see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. 
And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. Now here's DeRozan. An important role in this offense, averaging around two. Silvers last year with almost 300 more than anyone else. DeRozan hits them both. And Grant DeRozan, high volume from the mid-range and extremely accurate. You know, B.A., he consistently makes about half those shots. And defensively, you know that's his favorite area. But his ball handling and vertical negate anything you throw at him. Chicago trailing here. DeRozan outside. Here's MP. Misses in close. The Cavaliers have got two or three shots to go in the second. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. Outside Garland. Here's Mitchell. Oh, a clear foul there on the mission. Explosiveness and courage. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now, you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core. Could be a game changer, though, with this roster, even with all they gave up to get him. little floater. Mitchell's got six points in the quarter. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Cavaliers? Levine with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. A nice shot by MP. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Outside Mitchell. Offline with a three. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Here's Levine. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. And their offense seems to be coming around. Now they're shooting upwards of 50% from the field. Levert goes against MP. Over MP. That shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Brooklyn. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Yeah, they seem unfair. First half comes to a conclusion in a game that's the world. 43, the Bulls, 45. We've got an old Rookie of the Year. Now a breakdown of that first half we just saw. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Boy, Zach Levine has been sensational. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell, and it's Levert in at the three, the small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. The shake, shot clock at six. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. DeRozan's got six points. Oh, guys, the city of Chicago is used to the highest standard. The shadow of those Michael Jordan teams still looms large. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised Benny with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but the star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you. It feels like once you get a taste of winning, you never want that to end, Grant. But the reality is, for most franchises, it does end. Okay, 
Welcome back to Callaway's Court, where we are down to our final two designers. So, Matt Schaefer, tell me about the inspiration for your outfit. I was inspired by 90s streetwear, specifically the Chicago house scene. Mm -hmm. We're talking Frankie Knuckles, gold chains, Jordans, and black tees. I love it. You know, I spent a few weekends at the factory myself back in the <laughs> No doubt. No doubt, indeed. Okay, Alex Swin, now tell me about your inspiration for your... Hey, yo, no cap? Both these fits are fly. Like, I'll rock these on. No, 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 that actually makes sense because Shep's idea of high fashion is changing his. Listen, Shep, I know this might pain you to hear this, but. You're both such talented designers, and this is an incredible. I should have known y'all would stick together. Whack minds think alike. <laughs> And the ball. Start out with the ball. Now the starting group for Orlando. In the post, it's Van Caro and Carter Jr. Markel falls out there with Harris. Clark has in the Magic had some of the worst injury luck in this NBA the last couple of seasons. Certainly have, Kevin. And this is a team that has been trying to develop young players. And they've been somewhat stifled because of injury. And I think the best way to grow is through young players. And you've got to give them reps, playing games. So it's been frustrating for Orlando to have these outstanding young talents be thwarted by injury. Now here is Carter, down to five on the shot clock. No good from Ross. Outside, DeRozan. A beautiful reverse layup. The determination that DeRozan brings to scoring in the painted area, really unmatched. He's not going to mess up too many of those chances. Here's Fultz. One of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. And it's sent back by Truman. DeRozan passes to Santos. Inside, Truman finds MP. On the way, Levine. And too much time in the lane, they get called for the first. First quarter just over a minute played. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Carter with a screen on ball. Now the pass to Harris. Three 
rebound by the Bulls. Coming into this, having matched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena, and they proved it that game. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. I briefly spoke with Jamal Mosley. They've had a difficult time in this matchup. They've lost both games so far this season. I asked him how he thought they could turn around. He said, we have to improve our defensive intensity, quicken our rotations. We can make things tough around the rim with our shot blockers, but we also have to close out on the perimeter. We'll see if they can flip the script tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Obviously, they feel that's the strategy that will earn them the W. And Kevin, when you're disruptive defensively, especially early on, that can help change the complexion of the rest of the game. Exactly. I mean, because you're creating turnovers, getting into transition, playing in the open court against a defense that's not set, and hopefully getting some easy points at the other end. Here's Ball. Lays it up and banks it in. You know, no matter what you throw at him, this kid is unflappable. He's muscling through defensive contact and still scoring. That's impressive. And it'll be... If they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. And sometimes that can be a motivating factor. May very well light a fire under them tonight. Nobody likes to be dominated on the glass like that. Bowl, he's checked in for us. Just five to shoot. Looking to end the run. Once again off the mark to Orlando. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Santos. Bucket is good. MP's got six. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now, here's Fultz. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Miami. 130 left in the first quarter. You know, one of the best sights from the NBA in my mind in 2022 was seeing Markel Fultz on the court again. It was a long road back from his torn ACL, not to mention the issues he had with the throws and shoulder early in his career. Here's Fultz after the made shot from Santos. Pass to Van Carroll. Trying to get open as Carter. And there's Van Carroll on the assist from Fultz. And great work inside it. This is where Bancaro feasts. And for a player who relies on quickness and mobility like faults, an ACL injury can be devastating. Well, trust me, I haven't had one, but I know enough guys who have, and it's a tough injury for any player to come back from a torn ACL. And Markel had to work extremely hard every day for a year and a half. All credit to him for putting that kind of effort into his rehab so he can get back out on the court. Chicago leading by 13. To the inside. Here's Santos. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. 10 points for MP. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Now here is Harris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Fultz. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. And so it's Chicago. Their lead at 15. The MPs checked in for Green. Zach Levine comes in for Alex Caruso. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Dosumu. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group. Carter, he's checked in for Bowl. And Carroll comes in for Jonathan Eisen. Gary Harris, he's checked in for Ross. And it's Fultz in for Pat Connington. And so in the game for the Magic, in the post, it's Van Caro and Carter Jr. Anthony is out there with Fultz, and it's Harris in at the small forward. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A., 
Well, MP in the last matchup against Cleveland was phenomenal. He finished with 20 points, and he did a good job to dish out a few assists to his teammates as well. His play was commendable. His team has been playing great basketball, and he's a big reason for it. Back to you, Kevin. Excellent, David. Yeah, he was very assertive in that last game, making things happen. Absolutely made his presence felt. And I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to get it going early here tonight. Yeah, I agree. They really need him. I mean, they need his energy, and they need his talent on the floor. And the Bulls tack on two more. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Outside, Anthony. From past the arc. Here's Carter. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Quarter on a roll. Green with a screen on Wagner. The drive by MP. And he uses the glass on the lane. MP's got 31. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Bamba, a screen on Caruso. And Carroll. Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for the Bulls. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. Can you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game? Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And the wins continue to come in fairly easy for these guys. And what's been a very strong year, to say the least, tonight will push them up to 56 wins. They were really smart in the use of that game plan tonight used it in their first two games against this team which equal to two wins if it ain't broke why fix it i mean why change anything knowing how well they played in those two games they probably couldn't wait for this one to wrap up the sweep of the season series and you know looking back at all the contributions tonight it was a really phenomenal all-around game for mp well you have to marvel at how well he picked apart that defense repeatedly found the right guy in the right spot at the right time Rock gets the pass to Santos. They set the pick. And he drops in the way up off the glass. MP's got 33 points. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. And so Chicago takes this one. The Bulls. The Bulls. 79. The magic. Third. Oh, the bill's frozen. You get way better talk now. Like, you can tell yourself that. But if they can replace us all with an algorithm, an algorithm See ya, empty. Yeah. It's been a long time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's start my man Nate Dog right here. Congratulations on clinching a playoff berth. Now tell me, has the team. Now that question, I mean, it all depends on who's scheduled. I'd like to get your perspective. Tell me how far can this team go this? Oh, man, we taking this thing all the way, Nate, dog. Come on, man, we built the. Oh, hold, hold on right here. Nate been waiting for a long time. Let's get his question. Congratulations on being chosen for the rookie sophomore. My biggest adjustment. Ah, oh, that's a really. All right, could you elaborate on something for me? How do you feel your rookie? Yo, are there still people that still feel that way? All right, that's it for today. Until the next time, y'all. See the 40 point game back in the bottom yesterday? Yeah, and I'm thinking about racing.
rebuilding if needed. Balance. Good game, MP. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 5 you all have a great day, and peace out.